Breaking tonight, new video coming to light showing the refugee issue is not the only thing that has some Americans concerned in the wake of the Paris attacks. A public presentation for a new mosque in Virginia turned hostile when some of the people in the crowd became very vocal about their opposition to the plan. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants your evil cult in this county. And I'll tell you what. my power to make sure that that does, does not happen. We don't want it. Because you are terrorists. Every one of you are terrorists. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. You can smile at me. You can say whatever you want. But every Muslim is a terrorist. Mm. Dr. Zudi Jasser is founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy and author of A Battle for the Soul of Islam. Zudi, good to see you. I mean, that is just, this. the, the truth is, that's how many people feel. It's an evil cult, and all Muslims are terrorists. What? It's, it's getting stirred up now in the wake of Paris. Oh, and Megan, thanks for having me. You know, I listened to that, and I understand the visceral response America's having. I understand that they're wondering where the leadership is. And yes, we have a leadership problem. And as I talk about in my book, we built, we helped build the mosque in Scottsdale here in Arizona after 9-11. And there was a similar type of rise up when we asked for permission in November 2001. But the majority of Americans came to our defense and said, you know, the terrorists want us to have these freedoms taken away. And in countries where you, you shut down mosques are countries where radical Islam flourishes. In countries that are free, where you can shed the light of day upon political Islam that radicalizes Muslims, those ideas begin to dissipate. So, if what, you want to explain defeat that, this, why I does radical it. Islam flourish when you shut down mosques and crack down on, uh, you know, the, the Muslim community, as that man would suggest? Because the Muslim Brotherhood thrives on victimization. They thrive on underground networks, uh, 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 not allowing the truth to happen. They say one thing in public and another thing underground. But just as we, in Bradbury versus Ohio, even our Supreme Court ruled that as long as they're not openly preaching violence, we can better suppress hate speech like the KKK in that ruling and the Nazi party by allowing them to exist and shedding the light of day. Mm -hmm. Europe has a bigger problem with hate speech because of their hate laws, number one. Secondly, Megan, ask the Canadian like Mark Stein and others. What happens when you start shutting down facilities? The Islamists use those laws against you to shut down criticism of Islam, Islamism, etc. So it it's cuts both ways. Canada. Let me ask you about Donald exactly. Trump because he was asked, these are not his words, they were, they were put to him by a Yahoo interviewer, um, and he was asked whether his push for increased surveillance on American Muslims could include warrantless searches. Um, and whether they could include the requirement that Muslims register in a database or use special IDs, in response to which he said, we're going to have to look at a lot of things very closely. Uh, we're going to have to do things that we never did before. Your take on that? Well, you know, listen, my parents escaped the fascist regime in Syria to come to freedom in America because this is the laboratory that allows us to defeat ideas like Islamism and political Islam and theocracy. We can't just be, you know, listen, our leaders need to be precise and accurate when we talk about our laws and what we will do and what we will not do. And yes, our leaders need to identify Islamism as the disease, the organization of Islamic cooperation as the evil empire. But we also need to identify that our environment, our laboratory to counter those ideas is the solution. So we can't start doing things to Muslims that we wouldn't do to any other group and, and start denying the fact that our liberty is the greatest solution that, that Muslims are in this time of history, Megan, that the Founding Fathers were encountering theocracy. We're a young faith, young immigrant community. We're barely 1,400 years old as a religion. We're going through cataclysmic reforms. The best solution to that is American liberty. If we start to compromise that, that security will be a mirage and it'll only get worse. Ask Egypt, ask Tajikistan, that labels Salafists and shuts down mosques. And, and it doesn't it hasn't, work. It hasn't worked out so well. Zudi, good to see you. Thanks, Megan.